So, is this sharp? And this, is this sharp? I know it must be sharp. Welcome to episode number two. Is it sharp, yes or no? So this is what happened actually. Um, just got my X-Pro3 um, a couple of weeks ago and I decided to go hit the streets uh, another time, try it out, um, see how different it was compared to my X-Pro2. And as you might know, I'm using a lot of uh, Voigtlander lenses, manual focus, um, which I find uh, much faster than actually autofocus. As you can see in the point of view video, I walk towards somebody and I have a fraction of a second to take the picture. And I find that very often autofocus is too slow. Then there would be a quarter of a second, maybe a half second delay, which means that the picture I would take would be actually um, off the floor or of the person behind the character I wanted to take in picture. I prefer to zone focus. Um, I set the distance at about a meter and therefore I know that uh, when I, I'm uh, at that distance from my character I can push the trigger and the picture will be, will be short. What it also means is that sometimes um, I get it wrong, I walk too fast, I walk too slow, or the person is changing direction and I'm not exactly at a meter. So very often I have pictures which are not perfectly sharp. So I went with my Voigtlander lens on my X-Pro and uh, it is actually a lens which is made for Leica. And uh, there is a little adapter here which allows you to uh, put it on the uh, Fujifilm and they have adapters for other brands too. Uh, what I didn't realize at the time is that um, because it adds a distance to the actual sensor, the distance scale is a bit off. So when I did set my lens to focus at one meter, in fact, it was off a little bit. And every time I walk to someone thinking I'm at one meter, it will be sharp, it wasn't. So I made a mistake. I realized when I came home that many of my pictures were blurred or at least not very sharp. But I came home and I liked the pictures. And despite them not being completely sharp, I liked the picture. I actually shared a picture on my Instagram that was completely blur. There is not one part of the picture which is in focus. And yet people seem to like it because you recognize what's in the picture and you can relate to it. There's a bit of a story there. And I think many people can look through a bit of blurness or lack of sharpness if the content talks to them. I think that's the case with that picture. Pixel peepers, pixel peepers, pixel peepers, pixel peepers, pixel peepers. Looking on your screen at a picture and zoom in 300, 400, 600% means nothing. What are you studying? What are we trying to find out? Again, this is street photography. I want emotions. I want you to feel something. I want you to feel a character. Who's that person? That matters me more than if the person is in complete sharpness or not. A bit of motion blur is okay. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to convey a message. I want you to interpret the picture that you see. If the picture is too sharp, there's no space for interpretation. It's almost a medical picture. This is it. This is exactly the way it was. Great. And so what? Very often, when the picture is maybe a bit less perfect, there is more space for interpretation. You add your opinion, you add your interpretation to the story. You make maybe your own story, which I find for me much more interesting than present to you something already clear and obvious and complete. You know, the biggest street photographers, Henri Cartier-Bresson and others, we're not thinking about sharpness. If you look at all these pictures, the one that we remember, they're not necessarily sharp, and yet they're heroes of street photography. The same for the Japanese uh, from the 60s and 70s. Daido Moriyama won in 2019 the Hasselblad Award. 
I don't think any of his pictures are sharp. So in our, in Amsterdam, sometimes um, you uh, meet some um, interesting characters. Uh, and it's this uh, Chinese gentleman that uh, started to talk to me. He wanted to stream online and uh, he was a nice guy. So I'm like, well, we can work together a little bit. And I simply offered him to use uh, the hotspot on my uh, telephone so that he could uh, stream back home uh, in China. Okay, okay, yeah. I think it's good. I, I go this way. Oh, him, him. Hello. Yeah, I have many friends. You're famous. <laughs> Not famous. I went to uh, 33,000. 33,000? Yeah, people online. At once? No. No. Yeah. Are you guys French? Spanish. Spanish. No offense. You look French. No, no offense. But, but hey, I'm French. It's good. But you ugly. You ugly. He looks good. Here we go. And this camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you on YouTube actually. Sport, hot pot. Hot dog. <laughs> oh look, I want to take the picture of the lady with the yellow here. Nice. I will, I will cook, uh, how to say, watch you and I will get some photo for you. Oh, she's leaving. She's leaving. <laughs> Done. That's it, I took the picture.
This is garbage right here, man. Huh? It's a garbage right yeah, here. I'm just, I'm just it to yeah, 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 right. Right. What do you think? I'm curious about your opinion, of course, so drop a comment or let me know what's your opinion. I'm really curious and uh, I'll try to answer to uh, all of them. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm uh, looking forward to meet you with number three.